out there on that road. Deputies did tell us that they had at least one neighbor that actually came up to them and told them that they actually had about a close call when they saw this family walking near that road. And they tell us this family actually stopped and parked their car on the side of the road because they had ran out of gas. A narrow country road in Timberlake. This road is, has a lot of traffic on it all the time because it's a cut through. Neighbors like Patty Elliott startled Monday morning, noticing a line of patrol vehicles and agencies along Dink Ashley Road. I thought it was just a car accident and that was my first concern, but when I Walked across the road and looked, and nobody see a call. Around 6 a.m., Person County Sheriff's deputies say it's where a juvenile whose family members identified as 17-year-old Chad Woods Jr. was hit and killed. Family saying the teen had worked at Pellis Point in Roxborough. He was the second oldest of four brothers. Investigators say the family had pulled over after running out of gas. They were walking to their home nearby on Cedar Creek Road. The driver actually tried to get help in that moment. He did. He's the one that initially called 911. Before help could arrive, Sergeant Kevin Morris says the teen's father shot the driver and took off with the man's truck. They found the vehicle outside the family's home. Police say the driver died from his injuries after being rushed to the hospital. He's been identified as Jeffrey McKay of Youngsville and worked as an electrical supervisor for the North Carolina Department of Adult Correction. Suspect of the shooting told us that he threw the gun in this pond. For hours, divers and crews searched the pond in soybean field nearby, unable to locate the weapon. Deputies later arrested Chad Woods Sr. in connection to the shooting. He faces charges of second degree murder and larceny of a motor vehicle. It makes it it's kind of sad, you know, and I feel I feel bad for him because he was trying to do the right thing and he ends up just like the young juvenile there. It's a terrible thing to happen. Now, deputies told us that they actually paused that search mainly because of this heat that they had. They said it was pretty warm out there, especially after being out on this road for six hours. They tell us they plan to be back out there to search for that weapon again tomorrow morning. In Person County, Mariah Ellis, CBS 17 News. All right, Mariah, thank you for the update.